بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم السلام عليكم my darlings and welcome to another episode of Kissa Kids Craft I am Zainab and as always I'm super duper happy to have you guys with me you know what else makes me happy having a good friend having a best friend even. And I know that we always talk about how Allah is a good friend and he's a best friend because he loves us so much and he's constantly giving us gifts and blessings and, and, and he's protecting us and he's got our back. And who else can be a best friend? Hmm, the Imam, that's right. Imam Zaman can be our best friend, right? Because he loves us so much and he's so close to our heart. And whenever we don't talk to him for a really long time, he really misses us. And Imam Al Hussein is our best friend because we love him so much and he loves us, of course. Hmm. How about the Quran? Yeah. Did you know that Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam knew the entire Quran so that all the other Imams, they knew the entire Quran by heart, they memorized it. And for every special occasion, Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam would recite one ayah of the Quran, especially on the day of Ashura, because he was so close to the Quran, so close that he was known as the walking Quran, the talking Quran. Every day and night we remember Oh, good idea. You just reminded me. You can learn about that and much more on our special Muharram project booklet. See, it's got the flag of Imam al Hussein on it too. And all you need to do is go on kissakids.org and you can either download the PDF or you can order yours or whatever is more convenient for you. And in it, all you need to do is flick to lesson nine. And in it, it's going to give you a neat idea so that it could help us become closer to the Quran as well. There are some few verses in the Quran that are extra special, right? Well, more than a few, of course. Some of them are my absolute favorite. And right here, you can find the template. All you need to do is print this page out, color and decorate it however you want. And there are just a few more things that you'd need. You need one of these rings that you get on keychains. I got this off my keychain. And you've got one of these short chains too. Oh look, I've got marker all over my fingers. And I already cut out the special ayahs from the Quran and I decorated them in colorful colors. What does the first ayah say? The first ayah says, Surely in the remembrance of Allah, the hearts find peace. Whenever we feel that our heart is filled with worry and we're so anxious and we don't know what to do and we're so frightened, all we need to do is remember Allah and our hearts will be at ease. The next ayah says, My Lord, increase my knowledge. Who wouldn't want to be smarter, right? There's an ayah in the Quran that teaches us to pray to Allah to give us more knowledge. Imam al Hussein was a very knowledgeable man. Did you know that he could speak every single language in the world? The next ayah says, Our Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the fire. We pray to Allah, Ya Allah, give us all the good things in this world and all the good things in the next world. The next ayah says, Say indeed my prayer, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Allah is the one who gave us everything. Ooh, I love this shade of purple, by the way. He gave us life. He gave us everything that we have. And he is the God of 
all of the world, all the universe and stars and cosmos and planets and outer space and aliens. Our Lord, pour down upon us patience and make our steps firm and assist us against the unbelieving people. Sometimes we get so worried about what to do, we get so nervous that our feet turn into jello. We can pray to Allah to make us strong. Oh my Lord, make me someone who establishes regular prayer, just like Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Regular prayer. Every day and night we remember. Now I'm going to stack this all together and I'm going to get my paper punching machine right here. And I'm going to punch a hole where this black dot is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ay and I'm going to put this chain through it. And my little springer ringing. And there we have it. We've got our short Aya card ready and steady to take wherever we want with us. If you can read the Arabic, you can also print that out and it would be a very easy and quick and convenient way for us to memorize short verses from the Quran. Just like Imam al Hussein did. Well, maybe he didn't use flashcards, but he knew the entire Quran by heart. And we want to be like Imam al Hussein, don't we? And there's so much more of that in our Muharram project booklet. You can get it from kissakits.org org and flick through it check out the templates the arts and crafts and i hope you guys enjoy that's all the time we have for today's episode until next time wassalamu alaikum warahmatullah